Hi friends, it's Shanna. It is um, early Tuesday afternoon here at Marburger and I'm in tent A and behind me you can see art dwellers. Diane Pfeiffer, who I discovered and really wanted to give opportunity for her to share her art and her work. So we're going to take a, a walk across and um, she'll spend a few minutes with us and you can enjoy the work that she does. And uh, so let's go take a look. Diane. Hi Diane. Oh, hi. How are you? Very good. Thank you. I'm going to step inside so they can hear you clearly. Yeah, yeah. So tell us a bit about Art Dwellers. Well, welcome to my booth. We're in Marburger today and actually we'll be here until uh, Saturday. Okay. And uh, this is all my work. I, I get to paint every day. I'm one of the lucky ones. Yeah, I love this. Um, I have a photographer who um, takes pictures of my work and okay. makes prints for me that are archival the best quality. Yeah. And uh, I also do custom art, so if you've got a pet that you want me to do, or a person, I can do everything. Yeah. I've taught art for 18 years, so I pretty much have done it all. Yeah. And uh, I decided a couple of years ago that I'd come out and start, uh, you know, producing my own art to see how it goes, and I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> I travel all over the country about yeah. every other weekend. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's been very successful for me. Yeah. Let's come over this side a bit, maybe tell yeah. us a bit about your inspiration, or even let's start, why don't we start with this striking horse right in front of us? So, okay, well this horse is absolutely gorgeous to begin with, yeah. and I get to go around and see these horses in fields because most of my shows are in areas where there's lots of cows and horses and whatever, and yeah. I'm very happy about that because they just take my breath away. Yeah. But I like to paint on different surfaces, so here is an old gate. Mm. And I thought, wow, we need to put a horse on that. And, and it's kind of neat for me that I'm not just painting the same thing over and over again, and, I, and I'm also not painting on the same things over and over again. Right. So some are done on canvas, some are done on wood, some are, you know, uh, and my benches. I mean, I, yeah, I do benches. Yeah. I actually paint headboards and refigure them into benches yeah. and um, upholster. So, These um, fellas. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely feel their personalities right in there. I'm going to go in close on the horse just so they can see being on the on the um, door here too with just all that's extra, but just to come in on the detail and the textures. Love that so much. So uh, my inspiration, you know, uh, I guess what happened after I quit working full time, teaching art full time, is um, I had to decide, well, what will I paint? Yeah. And at that point, it was uh, farmhouse crazy, and I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to give painting animals a shot. Well, once I got into it, and just being with the animals, and feeling them, and touching them, and yeah. I do rodeos as well, so oh, I wow. get right into the barns with them. Yeah. And uh, this region over here, oh. Oh, here okay. you have to see, yeah. Let me see, I'm going to move a little closer so we can horse. see. The Frisian horse. I this actually, one here. I uh, met him in uh, Minnesota when I was yeah. up visiting my grandbabies and uh, I was able to get up real close. They are gigantic. Yeah, I had no idea. And this comes across in what you've done too, the kind of the grand size. of the size, I yeah, like the to work scale. Big. I like to work big, there's no question. Yeah. I use acrylic and oil yeah. uh, to do my work, but um, being able to feed him and, and you know, Touch it, touch around his mouth, and yeah. that softness and everything. It was just an incredible experience, and uh, you can just feel all the honor oh, like, in the art. Oh. It's really well. Thank you for that. You know, yeah. they all have their own personalities too. Yeah, really like this, do. this one here. The pig, I know, right? So sweet. So Look. we had a pig in the same farm that I met this Frisian. Yeah, and they have personality. Tell me. Oh, but, I mean, yeah. Were, this one, I guess he was. Uh, he was spoiled and he lived inside the house until he got too big. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, they allowed him outside. So he still wants to be pet a lot. Yeah. And, so, uh, and if you don't pet him, he'll come and start gnawing at your Nudging feet you, yeah. And gnawing at your pants and whatever. But wow. just gorgeous. Yeah. So gorgeous. sweet. And how about this one here? We'll tell you about so I like Actually, it these two, if you could, gosh, I just love them all. But I like it when people actually send me uh, pictures yeah. so that I can uh, use them as references. Yeah. So, um, 
this this particular okay so yeah. this guy here yeah i mean i love it on the board i yeah. love the roughness of oh, it oh gosh uh, and i love the idea of having the flowers and they're very popular right now too yeah and that's not necessarily why i did it it's just because it's a beautiful creature it's so and beautiful. why not add some more beauty to him yeah. and uh he's just incredible the sheep i actually met in colorado at a show yeah. and they came right up here. to me and uh you know, he was kind of looking at me odd at the beginning. Yeah. And then, and then he just kind of, I got down on the ground and he came right up to me and uh, I was able to speak to him and it was great. It was wonderful. See, I just, yeah. I can't get enough of him. And if I lived on a farm, life would be really good. Yes, I know. And look at this. Oh, just uh, the expressions. Yeah. You can't help but be kind of mesmerized and captivated by them. Okay. So this this picture I got this from, one here. Yeah, this one here. Okay, yeah. This picture I got from um, a customer as well, mm -hmm. and she actually has a Brahmin uh, farm. And um, I said, you know what? I need when when people show me pictures of their animals, it's like, oh, give it to me, please, give it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So um, this one, uh, I'm gonna make her a print and give her a print. Uh, but this is the original here, and look at the look at the expression on oh, him, yeah, and yeah. just the perspective on him mm -hmm. is just incredible. And this is very similar. Yeah, look. But, um, and look at the frame on this one. Oh, yeah, this so great. So this lady, this lady actually makes these frames from different pieces. This one I think was solid. It looks like a solid one. Wow. But I just love. I think it just adds another dimension. It almost feels like a painting. cathedral window to yeah. me, like uh, something, I don't know, like Look you're like gazing in. There, yeah. It's just gorgeous. Same. Yeah. It's gorgeous. There are a lot more. Like in some kind of architectural building that oh, he's just... Yeah. It should be in here. All right, and, and then we've got another one there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Beautiful. So, okay. Yeah, remarkable. Wow. So this has been just such a pleasure. Thank you for spending this time and honor just seeing your work and all of the creatures and all their personalities and their presence that you really bring so close. Yeah, through the work. Yes. Yes, oh, wonderful. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, all right. So we'll say oh. thank you to Diane Pfeiffer, and uh, we'll carry on at Marburger, but come and find her here in Tent A. Alrighty, bye thank for you now. So much. Bye.